And just like that, you are back with Massive Music, hanging out with Nigerian superstar in the building. Yeah, Welcome to good? Massive Music. Welcome to South Africa. Feels how you feeling, bro? Bro, I'm doing all right, man. Just feeling good, feeling blessed, enjoying right. the weather, you know. Yeah? Just man, I just got to say thank you for the music, man. Oh, man. So thank you, you for listening. You started as a producer. Now you're producing and you're in the front. You got to tell me about the journey, because obviously you oh, knew you man. were going to be here. <laughs> <laughs> Um, man, the journey, man, it has been crazy, you know, been making music for like, what, 10 years now, yeah. over a decade, and um, yeah, I'm just blessed, man, to still be doing what I love doing and, you know, still be kicking it. And, yeah. you know. and, and what, is, what is it like to, like, make music and be a breakout artist in Nigeria? Is it as tough as, as, as it is elsewhere in the world? Um, I don't know, to be honest. It's, I just know my story and yeah. how, how it relates to me because everyone's story is relative to their experience mm. and their, you know, and their vibe and their energy. So for me, I wouldn't say it's, it was difficult. I'm just, I've just been doing me all my life. Yeah. Like literally just doing what I want to do and how I think, you know, I should do it and, you know, and the rest is just now vibes. Let's talk, let's talk about <laughs> co-collaborators uh, co globally. Mm. Are they uh, artists that you are thinking of working with, uh, or that bro, you are already working with? Because I know you are new music. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm on a lot of new music right now, actually. Um, but yeah, I'd love to work with um, with Drake. Yeah. With Drake with Kanye with um, Cardi B with Timberland with Pharrell with you know over here with Sunel with Oskido, with... Um, we can make the Oskido and Sanel thing work. Yes, please. We can... With we Kabza can... as well. And Kabza. Yeah. And, um, and um, Kasper and Nasty C. The list is long. Man, man you want to work with everybody. <laughs> everybody and I, I can feel it with your genuine energy. I feel you're going to do that. Yes, yes. Thank you again I'm for the music. Oh, you're going to give us a smashing performance when you shut down the show, right? You know how we do. You know how we do. Son L Msaki, thank you so much for coming through. Thank, thank you, you so much for hanging out, blessing us yes. with your presence and your music. We're so glad to have you here. I'm going to start off with you, Son L. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so let's talk about the crazy hits that you've made, especially this last song that you have played, Ubomi Abuma. Yeah, yeah. Life is moving forward. 2020, we needed the song. It became an anthem for South Africa. Crazy. I mean, how did the song come about? Where did it come from? Where was the inspiration? Yeah, well, firstly, thank you. Uh, I've been a fan of Msaki for a very long time. Me so, too. so by the time she pulled through to the street, she was so nervous. <laughs> and we didn't even believe in the song when we finished it. We were like, no, come back for another session so we can make another beautiful song. But we had a, a very brief, uh, just a talk, you know, about just what's what's going to happen with the whole COVID situation yeah. before it actually happened. So we made a song that would just keep people moving. Yes. And I think that's, that's she, she's the writer, so she'd actually, she would have more words around this. Yeah, how did the song come about? Come oh, on, give us more. Yeah, no. Also, just, you know, when a song just falls on your lap, even the trepidation to even be in studio together was because, like, I think we knew just we had something special yeah. to say together at some point and we had been avoiding a session and just yeah. logistically it wasn't working out and that day we had to face it and I think that song was a blessing that we didn't even realize was there before, yeah. you know, I mean it kind of it revealed itself what it was going to be quite later and I think hearing people's stories has really warmed yeah, my heart amazing. about it, yeah. Really Absolutely great. incredible yeah. guys, we're really grateful for that song like I said, it definitely is a soundtrack for all of us. The two of you are actually best friends. I don't know if people know this, if this is knowledge to the people, but you guys are like besties. And you guys, of course, as musicians in your own personal right, have collaborated with so many other individual artists. Yeah. But there's magic when the two of you come together. What is the difference, besides being best friends, working together as a pair? I'd say it's experience as well. You know, uh, before uh, I started working on my own label, uh, I was just be behind the scenes, making music for other people as well. So when I met her, she had almost a, a better experience actually. Um, she was working with very big people. Uh, um, so by the time we met, and it was just, I think that just really contributed a lot to our vibes, you know. So yeah. I, yeah, I think it's just a lot of respect. And besides, like outside of the music industry, I just kind of want the best for him and understand, you know, what it takes for him to be in a good space. And I think I get that in. I get that back, you know, in, in the friendship and also in the collaboration. And the music is always first yeah. and it helps us out of a lot of things. So, Beautiful. Yeah. 2022, for both of you, what's in store? You, you go first. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, um, we're planning on a bit of a writing trip. I'm gonna, yeah, just trying to 
broaden the horizons. I, I go to LA to write and I think he might join as well. So it's just more collaboration and trying to and also just a lot of more, a lot more behind the scenes. Yeah. You know, we're doing some stuff behind the scenes together as well. TV, you TV can talk ads. About it. Um, <laughs> nice. Lots of work. <laughs> yeah, lots of work. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm actually working on a pan uh, African uh, project. Uh, it's something actually I wanted to do a very, for a very long time, but because of just the restrictions and the COVID, I couldn't just travel. So I've always wanted to just go to Africa in, in other countries and just document, but stay there for a week, learn the culture, wow. make music with the artists from, from that space. So yeah. That is yeah. dope. Well, we're looking out for that from both of you. Thank you so much for hanging out with us okay. again, guys. Really appreciate it.